Feel free to check out my tea public after the video and support me on Patreon. Watch till the end of the video for more. When director Shinya Tsukamoto was in college, he directed two short films being The Phantom of Regular Size in 1986 and The Adventures of Electric Rod Boy in 1987. The Phantom of Regular Size follows a businessman whose body transmutates into scrap metal, and The Adventures of Electric Rod Boy, which is based on a school play Tsukamoto himself wrote, is about a boy who's bullied for having an electric pole sticking out of his back, only to eventually transport himself into a post-apocalyptic future overrun by cyber-enhanced vampires. In 1989, Shinya Tsukamoto would combine the story of the Phantom of Regular Size with the bizarre and otherworldly aesthetic and atmosphere from The Adventures of Electric Rod Boy and create the film he is perhaps mostly known for being Tetsuo the Iron Man. Now, just to give you an idea of how indie this film is, it was Tsukamoto's first time shooting with 16mm film, it was shot in 18 months, most of the shooting taking place in cinematographer and actress Kei Fujiwara's apartment, and while Tsukamoto could not afford the artificial prosthetics and makeup to create the Iron Man suit, he resorted to using real pieces of metal, most of which were discarded TV parts. According to Tsukamoto and others who worked on the film, such as actor Tomoro Taguchi, the production of Tetsuo the Iron Man was pretty hellish and overall not a very good time. On one hand, it was very hard just to find a place to shoot and Fujiwara's apartment didn't help all that much. And by the end of the production, only Tsukamoto and the actors were around while the other crew members had given up an abandoned ship. And after the film was complete, everyone else eventually split up and Tsukamoto even considered burning the film's negative due to how much of a bad experience it was for everyone. As for the actual film, Tetsuo the Iron Man opens with the camera following a metal fetishist played by Tsukamoto himself to his home where he takes a thick metal rod and OH MY GOODNESS! We then see the man get ran over by a businessman played by Tamaro Taguchi, who later has an encounter with a strange woman played by Nobu Kanaoka, who tries to kill him in a subway. Luckily the man survives, but after the ordeal, the man begins to notice that his body is changing into metal. He then goes home to have sex with his girlfriend, played by Kei Fujiwara, only for his body to transform even further, and ends up killing her with, and I can't believe I'm saying this, a drill penis. And after taking a bath, he's now become this hideous metallic abomination and has an encounter with the man he ran over, in which the two end up having a climatic showdown, before fusing their bodies together into this giant scrap heap behemoth as they seek out to transform the world into metal. Tetsuo of the Iron Man is a f***ing weird movie, but god damn it's so enjoyable. It has indie written all over it, and the final result is not only just astonishing, but very inspiring too, as it was made on a budget that was extremely low to the point where they couldn't even afford subtitles for its premiere at the 1989 Fanta Festival in Rome, where it would win Best Film. Afterwards, Tetsuo of the Iron Man would receive limited theatrical releases in Japan and the US in 1989 and 1992 respectively, in which it became a cult phenomenon, putting Shinya Tsukamoto on the map, as he would then be compared to the likes of David Lynch and David Cronenberg. It combines the cyberpunk genre with body horror, and Tsukamoto definitely took every opportunity he had to make it as striking as possible. Through dark and twisted visuals, a gritty atmosphere, and an entrancing soundtrack by Chu Ishikawa. Oh, and if you're someone who is severely uncultured and wouldn't dare watch a foreign film in subtitles, you're in luck because the film isn't very dialogue heavy or driven, as it does a good job telling its story through these visuals. Tetsuo the Iron Man and his previous two films are available on YouTube, but if you really want to show your support to director Shinya Tsukamoto, I would highly suggest checking out Aero Video's upcoming set Solid Metal Nightmares, the films of Shinya Tsukamoto when it's released, which includes not only Tetsuo the Iron Man, but its sequel Body Hammer, The Adventures of Electric Rod Boy, and his most recent film Killing. So by all means, please check out Tetsuo the Iron Man, just don't eat anything while watching because it's kind of gross too. And if there's anything my April Fool's video taught me, it's that none of you watch my videos all the way through. You thought I wouldn't notice, did you? If you like what you see, then consider supporting me on Patreon, where you can either watch new videos a day before they're uploaded, receive updates on new videos, commission video requests, and get a t-shirt of your choice from my TeePublic, where I'll also be selling masks soon. But once I reach enough patrons, I'll be reviewing the Tokusatsu series Red Man from Tsuburaya Productions. 
which was also made on a very low budget. So if you want to see me review that, then go support me on Patreon, especially if you want to see your name here. Other than that, thank you for watching, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and this is Titan Goji, signing off.